So, I mean, like in razor cutting, why would I, I use a razor, okay, in, in the razor? Okay, so, like, let's say he has very coarse hair or he has curly hair. He has a wave or something in it. Okay, so when, when you're cutting hair with shears, visualize this being a, a straight hair shaft. So when you cut, you're cutting like this, okay? So now you cut it like a blunt cut. So, but when you're using a razor, you're cutting it on an angle, okay? Say like a 33. So it's cut like this. So it's given this angle cut. So that let's say that you have the hair coming back and you want to take a little bit of the fullness out into here. If you extend the hair in the opposite direction, and then, so in other words, so the hair shaft is laying like so, okay? So visualize this, a whole hair shaft coming out. So let's say we want it to lay back. So if we take that hair and pull it back over in this direction, in the opposite direction, that's over directing, then you cut it, okay? Now you see that I've cut it on an angle. Okay, so let's bring it back. Okay, so we fold it back. So when we fold it back, Where's the cut? The cut is underneath, okay? The cut is underneath, and then this portion of the hair, because it's tapered down like this, makes it flexible. So it's got more flexibility in it, all right? So it's easier to control. But if you get too sharp with it, if you bring it down on too sharp of an angle, if you go more than what this angle is here like this, so what happens, then it's almost like you're scraping the hair. So what will happen? this hair will start to curl. Why? Because you made it too thin. You got to keep just a little bit of the length right there on it on the tip. You can't just shave it all the way down. You see what I'm saying? So in order to give it that flexibility, you got to leave just a little hair. So you're just shaving it just in the hair. So what it does, it knocks the bulk down. So like I said, then when you bring it back, it'll all lay down perfectly.